Welcome back people, we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. It's been a little minute since I've done a stream on it, so um, instead of a video today, I thought we'd give you guys a stream. How's it going Jeremy? How's it going Clayton? Good to see you man. Thanks for dropping by. Alright, let's get into it, I'm ready. Let's see if we can uh, do a little bit of shark hunting today, hopefully we can... We can try and get some big fish here. Let's we'll see. <clears throat> Alright, so I've set up. I'm already here. 7 o'clock, sunny day. Well, let's see how it goes. I'm going to show you on the map where I am just in case um, you don't know where I am. So I'm fishing there. Normally I would be on a boat fishing there. Over there, as you can see, there's a mark, then mark is there. Normally, I would stand on a boat, but I'm seeing if I can try and get that big fish um, with this, with the bottom rod, rather than always using the um, the float rod. I am going to cast the float rod out as well, but I haven't had any hits on the float rod at all from me standing on, on the bank, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately but I'm gonna I'm still gonna put the float rod out as well it does it does ding quite a bit but it doesn't actually it doesn't actually hook up anything but we'll try we'll try it again how's everyone doing today it's a nice day today actually it's nice and sunny on here it is where I am as well I've been a little busy making some more editing I know what's going to happen. They're all going to go at the same time. It's a hard choice when they when they all go off because you don't know which one's got the which one's going to have the biggest fish on. I tend to try and stick to the whatever rod goes off first, but maybe I might start when the other rods go off. I might pick them up and see if there's a bigger fish on there because that's what I used to do. If I've got a fish on and one of the other rods go off, I pick it up and I see, um, yeah, I see if it does do anything. But we'll find out, I guess. Do I? Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, I'll put the float rod out there as well. It moves so much when you're on the boat and you got the anchor down. You can hold it in one place. Look, it does move quite a bit. Nice setup. Yeah, them rods, they're the best bottom rods. This is the spell launcher, which is the best um, float rod. And then I, from the DLC, you get a casting rod, which I like that. It's quite a. It's quite a thick rod, it's quite strong. You can definitely hold some big fish on it. And I have caught some big fish on it, but the only problem is I prefer... Um, I probably prefer... Hold on, we've got some interest. Is it actually going to take it for a change? It'd be a first. No, okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's what it does quite a bit. I get, I get interest on it, but I don't actually... Uh, it's moving a little bit again. I don't think it's going to take it. It is moving quite a bit. We've got some interest on that rod. It does that a lot. It just bops up and down there. I did turn the game, the game audio down a little bit as well because the I've been playing it quite a bit, obviously. And the bite alarms do drive me a little bit crazy after many, many hours. How's it going, Trippy? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Haven't spoke to you for a bit. Do you get your car all fixed up and stuff as well? Yeah, them bite alarms. Do uh, I, It's a shame that you can't... Because in real life, with the bite alarms, you can adjust the tone and, and the sound and stuff. 
I wish it would let you do that. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so I've got a fish on here. I know this is definitely a shark on here. Let me have a look at this one, see what this one's like. Well, it's a good bait, but I don't have huge cut bait, large minnows. As you can see, I've got large minnows on here. Um, large cut bait also works as well. <clears throat> large liver, chicken liver. Quite a lot does work for them. I've, I've, I've spent so many days and weeks testing for sharks and I'm gonna be having I did mention it in the video from yesterday that I am gonna um, I'm gonna be making a video on the very best hotspot for sharks and the very best setup like I've shown hotspots for sharks but I haven't shown um, the very best spot yet and that is just because I've spent so many hours at different spots and I thought, well, I need to fish here for a good few hours, like I have the other, the other few spots. And I'm trying to write down, um, I'm writing down how many fish I catch within a certain amount of hours in real time. And then I kind of judge a hot, hot spot by catching a lot of fish really fast and big fish. So I've tried many spots. I've got to do a few hours here and... I'll then count the lights, see which one's going to be the best spot for them. Your car ain't been fixed yet. The guy was supposed to fix it. Caught the drid. Oh, okay. Until the 10th of May. <laughs> well, you ain't got long left then. You only got eight days. So that's alright. I didn't... I actually didn't even connect my night bot up. I actually forgot to do that. But it's popped up on its own, so that's good. How's it going, Tarpon? Good name, man. I like it. Oh, how's it going, Dad? My dad's dropped by. <clears throat> See, it does say they prefer large minnows over everything. But after me doing many, many hours, days of testing, I, w I would probably say the huge cut bait works best. I've tried so many different baits, different lines, different leaders, different rod setups. And my my biggest fish, I've, um, I've only caught those on the float rod. Like I've had some good sized sharks, about three, 380, 400-ish pounds on the duo swim bait. Casting from over there, which again I made a video of, you could always check that out if you don't know what I'm on about but anyway I used a yeah that was me actually using the the DLC no it wasn't it was the in-game rod that I brought the very best casting rod and yeah I've had a good good sizes on this on on that but nothing not my biggest same goes with these bottom rods I've had around 407 400 pounds but yet, when I've used the float rod, I've had 420, 425, 430, 433. So, it would be good if I could try and get a bigger fish on the bottom rod. Because, well, it doesn't matter too much about when I'm not streaming. But when I'm streaming, obviously, I want to keep catching fish at a fast pace to make it entertaining. And me standing on the boat, I can't catch fish like that. But obviously, by having five lines out compared to one it does make a big difference in how fast you're catching try fishing for unique arapaima that i feel like they're too easy to catch man i i have done um different videos and stuff like that on that before but um yeah i definitely feel like they're too easy to catch Whereas if the sharks, they take that little bit longer. I had to change my music. For some reason, I had, a, I had an ad. That's not very big. 175. See, I say it's not very big. To some people, that could be 
monstrous if you're a low level and you haven't caught something that big, but for me, <laughs> that's a small fish. I've got to reset this rod and the float rod as well. Yeah, I, I, it's really strange how when I'm on the boat, like even if I don't have the anchor down, if I'm on the boat and I use the float rod and I don't have the anchor down and my boat keeps moving all the time, obviously my float's moving at the same time. And yeah, I still get hits on it. But yet, just when I stand off the bank here, it does nothing. It gets interest, a lot of interest, but it doesn't... It doesn't take it. Never takes it. You're level 43. Did you buy the DLC for this place or or not? How's it going, Lucas? You recently got your first shock. Oh, nice. So you did... Um, My mic's kind of in the way there. There you go. Yeah, so you, I guess you obviously did buy the DLC. I brought quite a few DLCs for Fishing Planet. Like, not so much rod packs, but, um, like, for all the new lakes, I'm always buying them DLCs no matter what to obviously show the shell new rods, reels, hotspots, and whatever. And this one's definitely got to be my favorite DLC that I brought. And it, it was definitely worth the money as well. Like, it's pretty good. You get the You get the best boat on the game. Well, the fastest boat, should I say. Um, and then you get that rod set up with a real line and stuff. Which isn't bad. I probably would prefer to use bait rather than spinning. In real life, I'd prefer spinning, but on the game, yeah, I probably prefer bait fishing more. I don't know, actually. I say that every day is different, I guess. Some days I feel like doing a lot of bait fishing and then sometimes I will just get on the boat and pull up somewhere and do a bit of spinning and see if there's any interest there so that floats moved a lot already you did buy the DLC this DLC is yeah I really do like this one it is really good I did have a bit of interest on that one there See, normally, with the float, I don't really, as I said, I have tried the float from this bank quite a bit. And it's just, it never takes it. So normally is what I do, is I mess around with my spinning rod. And I get a little, I, get, I don't get loads, but every now and again I get a little bit of interest with this. Let me put something else on there. Hmm... No, you know what? I use that. We'll see what happens. So I'll show you this rod set up. I have showed it before, but just in case anyone is interested in what I'm using. So this is a spinning rod rather than a casting rod. The casting rod, as I said, is quite a thick rod, so um, not much play in the rod. It's quite... like Well, I say not much play. Obviously the rod does bend over like crazy when you get a big fish, but this one... The fish, you have to play it a lot more. And I've caught plenty of sharks as well by being over there. By doing spinning. But I've never had one hook up whilst being on this bank here. So if it happens, it'll be a first. I've recently moved to PC. I've done 60 hours on Fishing Planet. You're level 52. What made you change to PC? Put cap and hook 11 or 12. I tried the cap and hooks, but to be honest, I... I don't know. I don't... Again, I put many, many hours into testing. And I still... Yeah, I do catch, obviously... I still do catch them sharks and 
also the white belly cats as well I do catch those with the cap and hooks but the biggest fish I've had or the biggest fish that I caught should I say I caught that on a hash 10 so that's what makes me use the hash 10 like I've even done it where I've had two two rods with the hash 10 and then these two with the cap and hook 14 and yet the two hash 10s they go off a lot more than the cap and hooks but not only they go off a lot more I seem to get bigger fish on the hash 10 I could be wrong but that's just the way it seems like how it works for me anyway Uh, yeah, all right, Trippy. Yeah, no worries, man. Just had to buy an upgrade, and I dislike the PS5. Oh, you didn't like P? You don't like PS5? And PC is where the real gamers are. Yeah, a lot. To be honest, it, that that does make me laugh a little because yeah, a lot of people who do do YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, any any type of stream, or even not just streamers, but yeah, a lot of gamers, when they take it gaming seriously, a lot of people do go over the PC, but I, I do PC and I do um, PS4 as well, because I play a big man, that's why, I, that's why I play console, not just that, but obviously some of the subscribers like it as well when I'm playing console because then they can join as well. <clears throat> Which fish give the most XP here? I would probably say that maybe the shark. I'd probably say shark, yeah. I think from one shark I've had it was like 30, I think it was nearly 30,000 XP. But the Arapaima, they, they, don't, they don't do too bad as well. Because you can catch them pretty fast. You can definitely catch them faster than sharks, that's for sure. PS5's been overhyped, to be honest. <laughs> it's still... I still can't order one, man. I have tried, and I have looked um, to see if I can order one from somewhere, but... The only place I can order one is is for uh, like on, on somewhere like eBay or Amazon, but they're selling them on there for like nearly a thousand pound, which is insane because somewhere like a, a normal local shop would sell them for around about four hundred pounds. So um, that's quite a difference. That is yeah, and I don't fancy paying. I don't fancy paying nearly a thousand pound for a PS5. Not when I can buy one for about four hundred pounds. So eventually, when they do come in stock, I will get one. But yeah, I'm not paying. I'm not paying that. That's crazy. Just because people are buying, so like I understand everyone's trying to make a profit in life. I get that, but there's making a profit and there's ripping people off. And I, I don't. I don't personally agree with buying a PlayStation and then. Selling it for double what it's worth. Maybe adding like 50, 100 pounds on or something like that to a push. But they're doubling the price. It's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. PC gamers are just as good as PS4 and PS5. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I've seen some crazy people. Um, their gameplay is absolutely amazing. Especially for like something like Call of Duty or Fortnite or something like that and yeah I've seen a lot of PS4 players and they really they absolutely smash it they do really good see most of my life I have played consoles as again Geordie um, most of my life yeah I have played consoles but I have spent a good amount of years on PC as well even completely at one stage I completely came away from the PS4 and didn't touch it for maybe like three years about three years I didn't touch PS4 and then um, big man 
he kept on asking me to play with him, so I don't know. Started playing the PS4 a bit more. I need for nothing more than my monitor PC setup. I don't really need PS4, PS5, Xbox. Yeah, well, you, for Xbox, you can always get Xbox on on PC anyway, so that's that's pretty good that it's like that. <laughs> Console players are good, but the real gamers are on PC. I think they're just just as equal. Some people with a controller are absolutely insane. Especially when you can get those, um, what are they called, scuff controllers? Modded controllers and stuff where they have extra buttons on and stuff. Oh, 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 nope. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't explain that. I, I really can't explain that. To this day, I don't know what's going on with it, but it's not very good, so let's jump to the next day. I had one shot for all that. I think the reason why I waited a little bit longer is just because I was messing around with a spinning rod. Otherwise, I definitely wouldn't have waited that long. Alright, let's change. Mm, right, let's go to 8. See, for the sunny and cloudy days, I do that normally around about 8 p.m. But the sunny days, I don't mind fishing it from even like 3 in, in the afternoon. But if you do that, you can fill up your net too quick though. And then sometimes you can't you can't get that big, big one because you keep getting loads of small fish in your net. You could always drop them, I guess. That's one thing you could do. Which lure works most for the shark? Uh, I'd probably say there's two that work. Um, I'd probably say the two that I've used that I feel like that works pretty good. I'll show you in a sec. Yeah, some people say that. Um, like 11 to 12 midnight works really good. And it does. But I do catch a lot of catfish at night, so... I probably will. I will. I will fish at the night time just to show you. But I do get a lot of cats. I don't mind catching the cats, to be honest. But um, obviously I titled it Shark Shark Hunt. So, <laughs> but yeah, the the catfish fight just as good as the sharks as well, which is I like that. That's why it's hard for me to choose. At first I was all about the sharks, but then I kind of like catching the arapaima because you can catch that really fast. And then, like a 400 pound shark will fight just as good as a 300 pound pyrap. So, that's um, good fun in my book. I like that. Oh yeah, let me show you. So, I use this one. This one is the Jiggin' Spoon. You can get that part of the DLC, but you can also buy it from the shop. That one I've caught quite a lot of shark on. Um, I've had the odd one on this and that one, them two, but more on the blue one. And then I normally would use the duo swim bait as well. The new duo one, which is the duo swim bait, the blue one. Again, I have tried the green and the red, but feels like to me the, the blue works that little bit better. Like you catch them quicker. You can catch them on the other ones, but you catch them quicker like that, at least... I think you do anyway. Use a float for sharks, yeah. I've been. That's how I've caught my biggest one is by using float. But I wanna, I wanna see if I can try and get that big fish by using bottom rods rather than always the float rod. Just many hours of testing different stuff. And sometimes when I gotta test it, I might as well just do a stream because otherwise I'm just gonna be sitting here doing what I'm doing now. But instead, I'm talking to you guys. 
Just caught a 370 pound Arapaima. Any thoughts? <laughs> they go up to around about 3, 390, I think. So, my thoughts are get get one with uh, an extra 10 pound on. Go for it. They they are you can actually catch Arapaima really quick. You could you could with the shark when it first came. When the DLC first dropped, wow, yeah, you could catch them really quick. But of course they did nerf it slightly. Cheers from California. That's a long way away from me. <laughs> How's it going, man? I feel like this one's fighting well. But it could be because it's small and agile. But it also could be because it's using its massive weight against me. That's why you can't, you just, you just don't know. This fish I could have on could be my biggest or it could have be on that rod right there. <laughs> mm, I should just stick with it. I said I was going to change, but I can't really tell the difference. From 8 o'clock, though, does work really good. And I think that's when... Um, that's when I actually got my biggest biggest fish it was. I think it was like 8.30... 8.30 something on a sunny and cloudy day. Yeah, you can come and fish here, Lucas, yeah. I, I'm in a um, friends-only room, so you can join. So you got a new PC, what um, what graphics card have you got in your PC? What graphics card did you get? Some graphics cards, for real, cost more than the actual PC. They really do. RTX. Oh, okay, so you use Radium. I've never used them cards before. Never ever used them. 32 gig of RAM. Well, that's quite a, that's quite a tank then. <laughs> that is quite a tank. 32 gig of RAM. Very nice, man. Ah, oh, you bought it pre-built. That's all right. Some people have the confidence to try and build it themselves and some people look at it and see a load of wires and it puts them off. Me, myself, I don't have any degree in electrics or anything like that, but I've always, I've always been good with electrics. Like, I, as I said, I don't have no degree, but I've messed around with electrics my whole life. Like messing around with electric wires for electric bikes and scooters and PCs, building, building all different PCs. I built mine. I built my dad's. I built my friends. But some people just don't have the confidence. It does make it a lot easier these days. I feel like it definitely is a lot easier to build your own these days because everything is labelled. No, you you couldn't. I don't really feel like. Actually, I shouldn't say you. Nah. Okay, I'm not gonna say that because maybe you could end up trying to build your own and mess it up and blame me. <laughs> I take I take no responsibility if you choose to build your own. But no, it is. It definitely does make it a lot easier though. Because certain pins fit in certain places. They don't just go anywhere. If I'm quick enough, I might be able to get that other one. That's not that big. 169. Crazy. It definitely does wear your gear down a lot by catching these. Well, that's no lie. 
It really wears your gear down so bad, but I would say you earn more money than what you than what you lose, to be honest. Like keep buying new lines, keep on buying more leaders, repairing your rod and reel. Yeah, I noticed you. Oh, okay. Oh, I've seen I've fished with you before. Oh, okay, so you're alright. <laughs> I've seen you I've fished with you so many times, man. <laughs> that was crazy. All them times I fished with you and I didn't actually know. I think you was there that day actually when I was when I had yeah, you was yeah it was it, I remember. It was you who was there. You was in a room. Um, you joined my room when uh, I had that fish on. I fight. I had a fight with the fish for 25 minutes real time. Then I hit record, and I recorded for like one hour, 30 odd minutes. And then I think you ended up joining about halfway through that hour and a half, and I ended up losing that fish. Yeah, game bug, yeah. I wasn't sure whether it was or... Yeah, I weren't too sure, but yeah, I did find out it was a game bug, yeah. I think they have... I think they have fixed it since then. I'm pretty sure they have, because I've been on the boat, dropped the anchor down over there and used the float. And obviously it has taken me a little time to reel in, but... Not to the point where I, it's impossible to reel in. Yeah, that, it does make me, it still does make me a little nervous when I put the anchor down, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I don't like it when I don't put the anchor down, because the boat keeps moving so much. Your float moves, the boat moves, and you have to keep repositioning the boat all the time. And that's why I like to drop the anchor, just so that way I stay in that one spot. And the current of this water, it really does move pretty quick. It doesn't look like it is, to be honest, but it does move pretty quick, especially when you're on the boat. I feel like I spend more time repositioning my boat than what I actually do catching fish. Look at that, my the there's more red on the reel than what there is the rod. I would have thought the reel would have had more more damage quicker compared to the rod to be honest, but Yeah, it is annoying when the boat moves that much. It's a shame the current's that strong. If it will if it moved a little bit, it wouldn't be too bad because then I'm, I wouldn't mind repositioning, but I spend more time repositioning the boat than what I do actually catching fish. And it's a bit early to catch a catfish. And it is a bit early. Normally I don't get them until around after 9. Oh wow, look at the fog. There is one good advantage about playing... Well, I'd say one. There's quite a few good advantages about playing Fishing Planet on PC compared to console. One, you get the updates before console, so that's that's definitely worth playing it on PC alone. But the picture quality definitely looks better because obviously you can crank up the graphics to maximum. So that's another reason. And the gameplay. Definitely the gameplay, 100%. I have played the PS4, obviously, on Fishing Planet for, for I don't know how many years, but I've played it for a while, and it's never, it's always done the same thing, which is you blue screen if you play it for too long, and that's frustrating. But the main thing is, that really does drive me bonkers, and I actually end up turn, turning it off after a good few hours, because it does drive me a little crazier than I end up playing it on PC is the stuttering that you get. Now you get that occasionally 
on PC. Like, very rare though. Like, I don't get it very often. I have had it, but it's not... Yeah, it's not very often that it would happen, but... On the console on PS4, it freezes a lot. And it will freeze for four or five seconds. Which doesn't seem like much. But... You keep doing that for a good amount of hours where your game keeps freezing up like that. It does... It does put you off a little bit. And it does definitely get frustrating. I think I should really go over there on the boat and use the float rod. We are getting towards nine. I got my net halfway full. Let me have a, oh, I ain't gonna be able to. Ch yeah, I can't check the weather like that. Let me jump on the boat. Let's see. If I really, I would have preferred it to be a cloudy night. If it was a cloudy night, I probably would have. I probably would have fished the night time. Let me see if this one is. Moon and cloud. Alright, I'll move over there. I'm going to stand on the boat. I'm going to fish off the boat a little bit. I think obviously it is going to take a little bit longer, but... Um, there's a chance we can get a bigger fish like that, so... Right, hopefully I'm not in your way, man. Yeah, cloudy nights are. Uh, they they work really well, man. The cloudy nights. I have caught them on a starry night, but again, it doesn't not not at a fast pace. There you go, float rod. Let me actually just check, make sure I've got a. That's titanium, All right? Sometimes I do change that because I I mess around with it. So I'm just checking the leader. I didn't want it to get bitten off. Oh, look at that. I've got some interest already. That's one good way to tell. Oh, wow. That was quick. Oh, that looks like a good size as well. I don't know, actually, there it did look kind of small. <laughs> it did look big for a sec, but then... I don't know. You going for catfish? I've caught them so many places in the night. I've had a lot of unique from here, actually. From this location as well. I think wherever the sharks are, the catfish definitely are in the same spot in the night, that is. God, this one's taking me for a good run. See, the one advantage about not having the anchor down is that it doesn't take as long to reel in because you're going with the fish. But... The one advantage by having it down, obviously, the boat don't move. So, in a way, I would rather the boat not move. And I always used to be in a rush to to try and reel it in. I always wanted to try and reel it in as quick as I could. And, yeah, I don't know why, but I just felt like I, I wanted to quickly reel it in fast. So that way I could then catch the next one. But since this update has dropped, I don't know why, but I actually enjoy fighting the fish longer rather than trying to reel it in really quick. I think I've kind of accepted that you just can't do that anymore. Obviously when you could stop it from running, that's the old days. <laughs> but yeah, it was good when it was like that because you can stop it from running and you could hold it in one place, it would wear itself down and you can reel in. But because you can't do that anymore and you can't stop it from running, It did frustrate me at first when 
when the update did come for that that you can't hold it anymore but as time's gone by I actually don't mind fighting a fish for 10 20 minutes even I wouldn't even mind fishing it for like 40 minutes to an hour real time as long as I was able to actually land it of course it looks like a good shot it's hard to tell it did look kind of big but then after I sit jumping out the water a little bit I don't know place your bets <laughs> how big I, I'm gonna guess 235 pounds uh, why that number I don't know that's just what came to my head first you're not catching anything if you don't that's one thing I do as well if you if you're spending too long trying to catch something and you're not getting any interest take the time forward or change the day don't waste too much time on one day because by doing that you know you're losing out on XP and cash when you could be catching fish every fisherman has a bad day in real life and that's how they try and obviously base it as much on real life as they can and yeah you definitely in it, mm, no I'm not gonna say that actually forget that don't worry <laughs> don't worry just reached level 65 that's nice did you get the DLC for this place it's quite surprising actually I'm actually quite surprised um, how many girl players actually play Fishing Planet? And the reason why I say I'm surprised, like, not because they're gaming, because I know quite a few different girls who do game, but to play fishing, I don't really feel like that women really like fishing. And I, I probably say that just because my kids don't really like it. <laughs> Maybe I might say it because of that reason. Just finished from the wood kayak. It seems to increase the bite rate. Oh, does it really? And land fish really fast. Hmm. I've never actually used the kayak in this place, you know. And I actually haven't. Just because of how long it would take for me to get to here, it would, it would definitely take me a short minute. The kayaks are dead, dead slow. All right, I was off. You won, Lucas. You said 170. It was 174. <laughs> it did look a big fish at first. Well, it is a big fish, but it did look like a monster, should I say. So normally, I've set it around about 15, 14 foot. Hold my rod like that. I knew it. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely will try the kayak at some point. I will bring it over. I would have done it now, but it will take so long for me to row to there. And it's a shame that you can't build up. Um, it's a shame you can't build up like the stamina on your guy, so he can row longer. That that would be pretty cool if you could do that. Uh, I normally fish 107. 107 inches I say 107 inches but yet my rod for some reason always sets it back to 106 look you see that 106 so 106 107 inches yeah it always does that I always set it to 107 in fact actually I'm gonna quickly show you that all right so look watch I don't know why it does it so I can set it to 108 max, but let me set it to 107 to apply. So it says 107. Sometimes it does it straight away, sometimes not. There you go, it's done it straight away. 106. Yeah, I saved it at 107. <laughs> I can't explain that. I really don't know why it does that. That's kind of strange.
Have you? I haven't... Like, when I'm playing on console, it does freeze a little bit, and it does blue screen. But it's Fishing, it's fishing Planet, it's always done that on con, on PS4 anyway. But on PC, I haven't, haven't had my game freeze or crash or anything. It's been running really good on PC. But, as I said, for the console, maybe you shouldn't, you know, maybe it probably crashes a little bit more on console for me when I'm playing console you know I'm playing like six eight hours sometimes more and um, within the time of me playing yeah it does it does freeze up a lot on that's on console though not on PC on PC it's good uh, I do have a beginner's guide, yeah, on Fishing Planet, which is um, in Lone Star Lake. I've got a playlist of just Fishing Planet. If you look through that, you'll find it. You'll find it very easy, man. Eight thirty-six. Anytime it gets to eight thirty, between eight thirty and eight forty-five, that's always the time that I want it to to hit my rod the most, just so that way I try and get a bigger fish. You don't play this game. Have you ever tried it? Let me actually, instead of me, even though I'm in a good time, let me change it to night. Ah, oh, stars. No, not completely. Alright, let me go to 10. We got a bit of cloud. I even had to go back and changed my headlight the other day because I noticed when I was doing some of the videos I was making some of the videos on it I, um, I had my red headlight on which was part of the um, St. Patrick's Day update thing and the red light don't work nowhere near as good as the white one oh I might be able to reel it in quick nope sometimes I can get lucky and reel it in fast if it swims towards me, no, it's not gonna. I'll do the traveling during low activity time. It still takes a minute. How long does it take you in a kayak from from like the dock to here? How long does it take? I'd probably say about ten minutes. Guessing. Oh wow, this one's running good. Am I moving? What? Oh, okay, he is. I thought. Oh my gosh, that that was so trippy. That really, that really did trip me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. He was moving. I'm. I was thinking. I'm sure I put down my anchor. How is it? Oh my gosh, that was so trippy. <laughs> You're more than welcome to add me on Fishing Planet. I don't specifically add people because obviously I'd have to type it in and I couldn't can't do that every time. But if you if you send me a friend's request, I'll accept it. Jeez, this one's going down deep. Normally they splash on top of the surface. It was definitely a shark. Normally the cats would normally go go down. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you as well, man. I don't think I've seen you before, so if you're new, welcome. Oh, wow. Yeah, added me a few days ago. What, oh, was that on um, on PC or or on console? It's really strange for it to go down deep. Normally, it's just the cats that do that. Of 
Oh, this one's an absolute tank. This could be a bigger one. This one does not want to, does not want to move. On Xbox, I don't play Xbox. I play on, I play on PS4 and I play on PC. That's probably why I didn't accept it. <laughs> Uh, still working speed hack on the scooter. Didn't really understand that, man. I'm sorry. Or oh, still working speed hack on the scooter. I feel like this is going to be the big one. I think it is. not really moving much like I'm reeling it in a tiny tiny bit each time but not much if you're asking does my speed hack still work on on the scooter and if my scooter is still good yeah it's perfect man it's really good if that's what you're asking I think that's what you might be saying oh my gosh I'm only reeling it in the most tiniest little bit at a time. It seems really strange to other sharks that I've caught before. I don't know why it seems so different this time. It really is acting like like a catfish for some reason. It shows on my Xbox that your gamer tag and name underneath it. It shows little remote with a computer. I do have an Xbox account, but I just haven't I haven't played Fishing Planet on it. Because I have an Xbox account for the for the play uh, for the PC. Because obviously, me being on PC, I can play Xbox for the Xbox app. But yeah, I do I do have an account, but I, I don't go on there. I don't play it or anything. So that's probably why. I need to make a coffee. I'm getting really stressed. <laughs> uh, gotta love the coffee. Make me some too, Lucas. Yeah, the Heavy Chase is a good rod. That was one of the best rods for many years. Well, I'd say many years. Not, maybe not that long, but yeah. For a year or so. A few days ago, I caught a bull shark from 197 kilograms. That was my first 190 plus. Unfortunately, I use pounds, man. I don't really know kilograms that well well I understand it but I understand pounds better but it does sound like a big fish oh my gosh wow 155 pound that was kind of embarrassing that I don't even know what happened with that to be honest that was kind of strange normally catfish go down deep not sharks but that one did Made me think that it was using its weight against me, but 155 pound, wow. Really did think it was going to be bigger than that. <clears throat> I might change over and put a cap and hook on, maybe. I, 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 maybe I just haven't given the cap and hook much chance. Like Maybe I should should use them more, see if it does make a difference. Normally, in theory, if you work it out, bigger, bigger hook, bigger fish. But it doesn't doesn't always seem to work like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it now, quick. Let's 
see if it makes any difference. Do that again. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the speed hack still works, yeah. The speed hack still works. I used the speed hack on the M365 Pro scooter for one year, or just over a year, and the scooter's running w still perfect as if it was brand new. And then for the M365 Pro 2, I've been using the speed hack on there for a few months now, and again, that's perfect. It's really good, and it works still, yeah. Have you ever heard of Twitch? I have, but the reason why I don't do Twitch and I do YouTube is because I discovered YouTube first, and with, with Twitch, it's based, everything is like gaming, whereas if, for me, I don't, I don't always do gaming like every now and again I show different types of videos as well and I feel like YouTube is more for that YouTube is for not just for gaming but it's for showing pretty much anything that you want any within reason and obviously um, yeah but there's lots of different types of stuff on YouTube whereas if Twitch is just it's like a gaming platform so I don't even own a Twitch account. And I don't think I ever will, to be honest. Like, I'm not saying they're bad. So, yeah, like, every platform has its own advantages and good points and bad points. But if I'm not live streaming and I'm not making videos, then I'm then sitting there watching YouTube. I don't really, if I'm honest as well, I don't really like the the layout that much of Twitch either. I'm not really I'm not too much of a big fan of that. I don't really like the way it's loaded out. <sighs> Maybe the cap and hook is not the one. I keep on feeling it biting. My controller is vibrating. It keeps biting, but it's not taken. <clears throat> 197 kilograms is like 434 pounds. That's pretty decent, man. That's a good size. Nice. The biggest I have had was 433 pound and something. But I probably could have caught bigger than that by now. But I've just spent too much time um, testing different stuff. Because there's obviously, for every fish in every lake, or for whatever fish you're catching, there's always one setup that will be better than another setup. And, again, I've tried lots of different stuff. I've tried the float rod, the bottom rod, the spinning rod. Um, even somebody actually told me to use the telescopic rod, <laughs> which is insanely weak, but if you... Because it's... A little short cast you can quickly reel them in really fast so you're not fighting for ages but again it's not really my type of gameplay I would rather rather have a good fish fight rather than reeling it in instantly but that is that is an, a good way I guess to catch fish fast in some sort of way That keeps on biting. And look on the fish finder, how much fish is there. There's absolutely loads of fish there. And it keeps biting, but it doesn't take it. That's why I, that's why I stick with the tent. Like, I do get fish on those cap and hooks, but... The interest is faster with the tent. Probably because the hook's not, not as big. And normally when it bites like that and it doesn't take... That's normally an indication that your hook is either too big or too small in my case obviously the hook is too big and those smaller fish can't hook it whereas if the 10 some smaller fish can hook it but definitely the big fish can as well 
I always used to say the optimal size hook was the hash six in pretty much every lake. And it does work here as well, actually. But I just used the 10 just because. And I used a normal 10. I didn't put the barbless on. I should have used barbless. Look at that, though. That's crazy. I was using the cap and hook. We stood there for a little bit. Kept getting bites, but no, nothing took it. Changed to the hash 10 hook. And within seconds, we get a hit. And that's why I like to use the hash 10. You definitely get catch fish quicker. Or maybe I could try the, like, the cap and hook, but instead of a 14, a bit smaller. That might be all right. You're back. <laughs> you got your coffee ready now. It looks like with the new boat, they have changed the fish 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 finder. It definitely does look a little bit different compared to the other ones. It's pretty cool though, when you're in this spot, sometimes you can, you see a big fish come by and you'll see a, another fish in its belly. I'm pretty sure, I was going to say I'm pretty sure it's a catfish, but I'm not, not too sure now because it was out of the water there for a little bit. You made me one as well. That's how we become friends, man. Coffee and fishing, that's the way to do it. <laughs> of course, as long as you're old enough, because coffee does contain caffeine. I have to, I don't recommend people to drink coffee, I definitely don't. It's not a, it's not a good thing to, to do. <laughs> but every morning, that's kind of my routine. Like, I, I obviously do try and drink a lot of water throughout the day. Obviously, I always try and drink a lot because obviously I do work out but I can't function I used to just get straight up and I, I that's it I could I could just go out I could do anything but can't really do that anymore I have to get up and have coffee first so then the coffee kicks in and then and then I'm good have you posted the DLC boat review Um, yeah, I did make a video on just the boat, yeah. Agreed. <laughs> How long do you set your leader for? I don't think I've ever seen you before, Chloe, so if you're new, welcome to the stream. I always set mine for like 107 inches, but for some reason, my rod always sets it back to 106 by itself. And I did just show that, but you, obviously you wasn't here, you must have missed it, but... I don't know why it does that, but I always set my my leader to 107 inches, but it sets it back to 106. I don't. I think it only does that with the float, if I'm honest, because normally when I use the waggler, it doesn't do that with the waggler. It stays at 107. So yeah, maybe it's just this float. <clears throat> you fish here all the time. Got your new record. On a boat. Yeah, on the, on the... As I say, like fishing over there, it is good. Because you can have more lines out. And obviously the rods do go off that little more. But I don't know why, but... You seem to get bigger fish using the float rod. And again, like I've been over there using the float rod, but it makes no difference. I think it's being on the boat that makes the difference. Okay, I've been on the, on the boat as well and used the bottom rod. Again, it does work, but the float rod seems to go a bit better.
My dog's getting comfy on her blanket. <laughs> but standing here though, using the spinning rod, you can either go back a little bit more so that way you're in these two markers. But normally I cast over there. You can see those three markers there. Casting over there. I normally set my boat up here. Cast over there with a the spinning rod and that does work really well. In your opinion, what's the best level to get the DLC for Amazonia Maze? Don't really matter what level you are really, to be honest. Um, because, does, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Even if you're level 1, it really don't matter. As the, because you could fish here for 30 days and obviously you're going to have the premium as well which is going to level you up insanely fast so it doesn't really matter so much what level you are the only thing that really does matter is really if you if you know where the spots are to fish because if you if you can catch fish fast it doesn't really matter what level you are if you're not a high enough level to get in this place if you can catch fish at a fast pace and then you're going to level up real quick anyway. So it's probably more to do with being in the right, the right place at the right time. Mm, we got, oh, there you go. There's cloudy. Cloudy night. Let's do that. Yeah, I've had some big fish. Not my biggest fish like that, but I have had some big fish on a cloudy night pretty pretty close to my biggest as well like not far off after you get that fish in show us your biggest fish oh sorry man <laughs> my biggest fish i did make a video on it it was 433 pound but i caught that on the i caught that on the playstation for the pc can't remember what the biggest is. It's 400 and something though. I think my biggest fish probably would have been that day where I made that video. And it get and I, again I said it game bug so it might not have even been the biggest fish. Because it was a game bug. We will never know. <laughs> that did suck though. That weren't. Yeah that weren't fun at all. That really was not good. I, I, I remember one comment. I can't remember who said it, but it <laughs> it did kind of yeah, it did, it did make me laugh a little bit. Um, so yeah, I was fishing 25 minutes, made a bit, hit record for one hour 30 minutes, and somebody left a comment saying, "I wish we could have heard you cussing and and um, you're you're good, Luke. No worries, man." Um, yeah, they said that I really wish that we could have heard you cussing throughout the whole thing Obviously, I'm family friendly, so I'd never do a video like that, but <laughs> Yeah, I was I think I got more frustrated towards the end of it more than anything because I was obviously I kept on trying to reel it in and I didn't want to just break the line. I either wanted the leader or the rod or the reel or whatever I wanted that to break before me cutting off the line, just so that way I can say that I I literally tried as much as I could. Like for the first 30 odd minutes of fighting it, no, probably more than that, probably for about the first 40 to 50 minutes of fighting the fish, I was kind of like relaxed and I was just fishing, just casually keeping the rod in my hand, weren't, put, weren't putting too much strain on it. And then after I realised how long I was fishing, well, how long I had that fish on, that's when I started to get a little frustrated and I was like yanking the rod like this way, that way, and yeah. <laughs> was not was not too fun. I did actually um did actually send a a video link to fishing planet about that to, to show them that game bug 
I didn't get any reply, but I did. I did send him a link though. Hmm. I said a cloudy night. I don't know what's happening this night. Not much interest though. I also tried using ground bait as well in this place, but I don't really think that really does much to be honest. I tried putting ground bait obviously in my feeder. Um, tried PVA bags, and then I tried um, the spod rod. I was casting that out, and I put—I don't even know how much ground bait I put out, but it was—it was a lot, and didn't seem like it really made any difference at all. I'm not going to waste any more time on that day. Not much is happening. Strange though, because some some cloudy nights work really really well. But as I said, every fisherman does have a bad day sometimes. So you, instead of wasting too much time, you're better off just jumping forward. I get that game bug all the time at the Arapaima spot. Once with two rods at, at once. Oh my gosh! Yeah, a lot of people said that. At first, I wasn't. Like, I, I was kind of like 50-50. I thought it was a bit of a game bug, but then thought maybe it weren't. Because the fish fish was just too big and I shouldn't have had the, the anchor down. That's what I thought. But then, yeah, a lot of people did comment on that video saying... Um, here we go, we got some interest. A lot of people did comment on that video saying that it was definitely a game bug. Oh, could I get it? 10 foot? No. Sometimes I can. This is another strange one. It's staying down deep. <clears throat> yeah, there was quite a lot of people that said they they had that game bug with the Arapaima. Where they just don't wear out. That does suck though, doesn't it? Like, for people who didn't have that game bug, they, they probably wouldn't really think much of it. But, you know, I put nearly two hours into one fish. That's real time. Two hours. I put two hours into that fish. I can imagine how much it does suck for actual proper fishermen who do, do fight fish for like four, five, six hours. Which has, it has happened. And then they end up losing it. That would probably break my heart. <laughs> it probably would. You have a 50 pound rod. Shall I try to catch a fish while my anchor is down? Mm. Yeah, you could do that. I don't see why not. So like, obviously the rod that I'm using is, what is it, I think it's 70, 76 or 78, so yeah, mine is a lot bigger, but the only thing by having a weaker rod, it just it's just going to take a little bit longer to reel in, obviously, but if you can, try, try use max drag on it, because that's definitely going to help you a little bit, you know, like where you get the bars up to the top like that, how I have. Definitely try and do that. That's one main thing that I always recommend everyone to do. That's if you want to, if you want to try and get that fish in a little bit quicker. That is. I can tell it is a bug because when the rod bends, the line actually goes out outside. Of course, I have match drag. <laughs> I learned this from you. <laughs> well, that's good, man. See, so, some people, when they, when I'm, when I'm doing that, they, they, like, I, I did a stream on it, match drag, and I also made a video on match drag, and yet they're still. If, I would say at least once, at least minimum one time, 
for a while that fish is quite far out there. At least once a week, I get at least a minimum of one message of someone saying, Are you hacking? How do you manage to get get your bars up so much like that and not snap off? And I always, as I said, I it probably isn't the proper name for it, but I call it balancing. That's what I call it, which is where your, your line is at a stronger point and so is your leader. But the thing that makes me call it balancing is, is that you're balancing the pound weight of a reel with a lot with the, with the rod so the rod and reel match and then the line by having the line you don't always have to have it stronger you can have it the same amount as the rod and reel but i just put it stronger just because i don't know why i just do <laughs> Um, what level do you need to be to unlock this rod, the spell launcher? Oh wow, it's been a short minute since I've unlocked this one. Um, I don't know, I could check after I reel this fish in. I, I could check for you. I, I don't think it, it's not max level, definitely not, but... I think level 50 something or level 60 something possibly. I'll have a look for you. I'll check out in a minute. I think I can buy it. I think I can buy this rod from from the from the actual shop without me going back. I'm pretty sure I can. Six level sixty four is it? Yeah, I remember when the uh, the Majesty. That's also a good rod as well. Like, I know it's not the best float rod, but it's the second best float rod, and that that is actually a really good rod. I have seen people, when I've been fishing in random rooms, because I do do that. <clears throat> like, when I'm streaming, I'm more so going to a friends-only room, so that way subscribers can get into the room. Otherwise, me going into a random room, it's always full, but if I'm not streaming, sometimes I do random rooms, but... Well, I do private and friends only sometimes, but mainly I do do random runs. And I've seen a lot of people use the, the Majesty rod. And yeah, I've seen them land some big fish with that. So if you can't get the spell launcher, if you can get the Majesty, Majesty rod, that's still a good rod to use. You could definitely land big fish with that. You're thinking level 58? Yeah, that's what I, yeah, I was thinking maybe like 50, 58, 59, something like that. Oh, you are using that rod? Yeah, well, that's still a good rod to use. If you're not able to unlock the spell launcher, that's that's definitely the, the next rod that I would use for float rod, but I couldn't get this one. Oh, it's got a little bit of fight on this last little bit. It is a little bit of a shame that it lets the line go through the boat like that. But then if it didn't and it rubbed against it, it'd probably put damage onto the onto the line and probably snap it off. Wouldn't surprise me if they actually did end up adding that at some point, to be honest. It would not surprise me at all. 170 pound, that was quite a fight. Let me have a look, see if I can buy it here. I don't know if I can. Maybe I might be able to. Okay, yeah, you can. But that's with bait coins, though. Oh, there you go, level 64. I remember I used that rod. When I was a low level, the big ally, I still own that rod as well. I, st I think I still own like three of them. <laughs> the big ally. It is a three piece rod setup. So, it definitely does take a, a short minute to reel anything in because it fights like insane. And the bend in the rod is absolutely awesome. There's definitely a, yeah, I probably wouldn't, me myself, I definitely wouldn't use, um, 
I definitely wouldn't use a big ally rod in this place. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't do that, but... <clears throat> I, I have landed some big fish on that, though. I've caught some big tarpon with a big ally. I also caught um, some unique uh, blue cats. Also some sturgeon as well. So I have caught some really big fish with it. I think I even used the big ally. Yeah, I did. I used the big ally to to catch the belga as well. So quite a flimsy rod. But it does work. It just takes a takes a short minute to reel in, that's the only thing. What what level was it for the? Because there's two, as well as the spell launcher. There's two different spell launchers, and I think there's two different majesty rods as well, isn't there? What level does the majesty rod unlock at? That's got to be level fifty something, surely. Oh, he's got some interest on these. I think that's on his rod. Yeah, it is. Oh, he reeled that in real real quick. He reeled that in real quick. I wasn't even trying to be funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not bad as well, because you, you was using... Um, what rod did you say it was? 50-something odd pound rod you said you was using? Remember me? I do remember you, Valid. How's it going, man? It's been a short minute. Damn, that was lucky. Yeah. Yeah. What what Majesty Rod are you using now? Are you using... Because there's two of them, isn't there? Are you using the better one or the, the lower one? When you're going back on land. <laughs> really, I should... Like, me, me fishing off the land, it, it is good because I do I do catch probably the bites. It hits a lot quicker. But I don't seem to get that the bigger fish that way. I get... I think... I think I've had about three, 400-ish pounds on there, but... I only catch the bigger ones by using a float rod. And when I cast over here with the float rod, it just keeps biting it all the time and it doesn't actually doesn't actually take it. The twelve ten. Alright, let me change time. I want a cloudy night if I can. Sunny and uh moon and cloud. Uh, normally, when I'm fishing over there, when I'm over there, waiting for it to load, load up properly, there you go. Yeah, when I'm over there and I'm using a bottom rod, 7pm 7, 7 on a sunny day works quite well. I don't really think I've done... I don't think I've been on the boat when it's been a sunny day, to be honest. Well, I have, but not not here at this spot. Let's see if we get any interest like this. Don't know if that's the best one or the worst one. I can't check. <laughs> yeah. There is two of them though. Maybe you want to... After you come out to repair all your gear and stuff. Maybe you might want to have a look and see. Because it, you might be able to get the better one. Like if you can't get the, if you can't get the spell launch over then... Try and get the best... The Jesse Rod, you can. That that's uh, even if it's only a few pounds more, it's still going to help you a little. We did have a bit of interest there, but it went. Oh, you got a fish on.
I can just about see it. There we go. Oh wow, I reeled that in quick. That was better. Oh wow, that's why I reeled it in quick. 115 pound. I don't think I've ever caught a shark that small to, before, to be honest. I honestly... Uh, yeah, I honestly think that was probably the smallest shark I've ever had. <clears throat> yeah, you can come and play, man. I'm in a friends only room. You can join. There's still, I think there's, yeah. There's still some space. There's, there is someone else in this room as well. Someone else joined. I didn't even see that someone else joined. I have no idea. Oh, there you go. A guy called Fane. I fished with him quite a bit. <clears throat> Maybe for the sunny day. Using the float rod, not so good. Works really well with the bottom rod though on a sunny day. Sunny evening, but not much is happening with the float. Hundred and fifty <laughs> hundred and fifty foot out, I will never reel it in. Three hundred foot now. Wow. That you will be able to reel it in, believe me. It does take a it does take a short second. But you can reel them in. I, I, that's what I actually did use once before, a float rod. That's what I used the very first time I was in this place. I was trying all different rods. And um, I thought, well, I haven't used a float rod for a short minute. And I actually had that Jesse rod. So because of that, I, I did use it. And then I ended up catching a shark on it. And then I decided to then buy the spell launcher. But that, I, I, yeah, I, I can't remember the size of it, but I definitely have had shark on there. You'll be able to do it. Yeah, and actually, one thing that does matter depends on your reel as well, because <clears throat> you could end up despooling. That's one good thing about these new reels that I like. You can have a thousand foot of line on there, which you don't really need a thousand foot of line, to be honest. I think the furthest I've ever had a fish take me out was probably about, uh, I'd say about 600 and something foot, I'd probably say. Not more than 700, definitely not. But I do like having a thousand foot there or seeing a thousand foot of line. That makes me feel a little bit more comfortable when you're you, you're on the boat and you got the anchor dropped or even if you're on the side like me being over there casting over here I can cast 230 240 ish foot if you hook up a shark at 240 foot it's going to take you out at least another two three hundred anyway which gets you close to 600 foot out having a thousand foot of line makes you feel comfortable I don't think I have actually, even though I had that game bug, I don't think, I know I definitely have in the past, but I haven't despooled on a rod for, I don't even know how long, but it did suck. I remember one time I did despool on a rod, um, on a reel like that, and it was on, uh, it was in Sand Delta on a striped bass. I had a striped bass. I, I, I know it was definitely striped bass. I did see it. And I kept reeling it in for such a long time. And it just... It, I sort of re reeled it in a little bit. And then it just went madness and just ran off. And when it ran off, it didn't want to come back. And it did end up despooling. Now, I know that isn't as big as other fish in other lakes. But it does suck when you spend a long time on a fish. And it breaks. Your line breaks or the... Oh, there you go. Your your leader broke like that. It does suck when that happens, man. Your leader breaks or your line or your, or your rod of reel. And you've had it on for a while. 
Yeah, 420 foot, 421 foot of line. If I got that to 400 foot out, and I had 421 foot of line on there, I would be so nervous. I'd probably be like that. I'd probably be trying to, trying to get it in quick, but that would probably actually make it run even further, to be honest. I've noticed that as well. I always used to do that quite a bit. I always used to fight against it, whereas if now I don't so much. I always do the striking motion, but I don't yank it so much anymore. Sometimes, I've even noticed as well, by keeping the rod down lower, sometimes that can actually help. I was going to say it was helping there, but <laughs> it was swimming towards me. There is a certain way how people do that. They point it down in a certain way and it makes it easier to reel in. I definitely need to change this line soon as well. I don't like it too much when... I don't mind the rod or the reel going into yellow, but if I see the line or the leader going to yellow... That makes me want to change it. I won't let it get get below about 50, I don't think. Just because if you have a big fish on and you and you're fighting it for a long time and it's below 50, there's a good chance the line will end up breaking. Always keep getting 175 pound. I don't know if everybody else gets that or it's just me. It's like 175 pound is like a typical size that I always catch. I like I like when there is sharks around as well and you see the they stir up the water from the bottom. It looks really good. And you can definitely tell as well when there's a shark near your near your rod. Not only obviously the float moving or the bow or anything but the water changes colour around around the float. You get that as well. I think I just added delivery. I got left at my safe place. Yeah, delivery left at my safe place. Oh, you got another fish on again. <clears throat> so just the mention as well. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and smack that like button if you are still enjoying Fishing Planet. And if you are subscribed as well, you're more than welcome to... To add me on console or to add me on PC and you can you guys can always come fish with me one thing I always say as a rule I don't join chat parties I'll always talk in game chat by messaging saying hello and stuff but I don't do um, I don't do chat parties with people or anything like that just because it it's just yeah I just make it's too difficult to do that there's only so many people you can have in a party and if I talk to one person in a party, I'd have to do that with everybody. So I'll always type on the on-game um, message thing there. But I don't do chat parties. But you're more than welcome to add me on either one. And sometimes when I'm doing... If I'm not live streaming or editing videos and I'm playing fishing. Sometimes every now and again I do hit record as well. So there's a chance that your player, your character could end up being on YouTube. You're almost ranked 29. Yeah, I'm pretty close. One more fish should do it. I don't feel like the um, the float rod works as good on a sunny day. I think maybe the bottom rods do, but then that could be because I have more lines out. 
Let me change the time a little bit. Definitely isn't as quick. Mm. Now let's go to 10 p.m. It's not a cloudy night, unfortunately, but oh wow, that looks like it. That looks like he's got a big fish on there. That could be a good size. That definitely looks like a good size. The the water as well, the movement of the water, I love that. Like it used to do it in um in Maron quite a bit where when you get a big fish and it comes to the surface all the water moves, but here, because the fish are so monstrous, yeah, I knew that was a big fish. Three hundred and twenty pounds, that's not bad, man. That's pretty decent. I get to see the size of your fish before before you even hold it in your hand. I noticed that as well. They do that a lot. I've done that before where I've had, I'm, I'm fishing and then everybody uh, I start saying nice one, nice one, bubbles, nice one. And I don't have a clue what they're talking about until I actually, about 10 seconds after of me holding the fish in my hand, it then finally shows me. But it shows other people first. That's pretty good though. 320 pound. And you landed that on that Jesse rod as well. See, I told you you could land big fish on it. The spell launcher obviously does make the job a little bit easier, but maybe I should use the waggler. I've used the float for such a long time. Let's go back to the waggler for a bit. Then we set it at 107. I don't know why 107. I don't know why I always choose that. I think it was actually, to be honest, I think it was because it was kind of in 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 the middle. Like I tried it where it was at its high point. I tried it being really high up. I tried it being really low down. And then obviously when I was testing different lengths of it, I was actually using this waggler. So I tried it at its highest point and I did catch like that. Lowest point I did catch, but middle point, middle point seemed like it, it was better. Oh well, wow. that's running well. Um, I don't actually. I I, I, it's, I think it's YT Bubbles way. I think. I don't actually remember my Steam name. <laughs> you can add me on Fish and Planet though. If you add me on, um, I'll have a look. I'll, I'll tell you what my Steam name is in a minute. But on Fish and Planet on on Steam, my um, actual Fish and Planet name is YouTube. Uh, YouTube Bubbles Way. YouTube dot Bubbles dot Way. I'll have a look at my Steam account in a minute. I think it's YT Bubbles Way. I think. Hundred and fifty-eight pounds. Oh, Fane's going for shark as well. I don't know why, but sometimes when I'm, I don't know if you guys do it as well, but sometimes I really squeeze my controller harder. Then all of a sudden I think to myself, hold on a minute, I'm, I'm squeezing my controller a little hard. Ease up, and I notice that because I kind of put my hand to the side. I don't know if you see me do that. I keep like I put it sideways and like I really squeeze the controller. I don't know why I do that. <clears throat> the streams are still a little bit random. I'm sorry I don't have a specific time for streaming. At the, at the, I'll, I would fix something eventually, but um, yeah, I just put a lot, a lot of time into videos because they were doing so much better. But I will see if I can try and fix up a stream schedule at some point. I need to really, because I keep on. Obviously, I'm putting out videos every day, but 
for the streams, they're just so random, there's not a specific time, and some people prefer the videos because they're short, quick, get to the point, but then some people like to chat more through through me streaming and yeah, talk to me that way, ask questions and stuff. So I do need to fix up some kind of schedule. This one's just like it's stuck. I've had that for game glitch as well, actually. That's another thing. As well as fish pulling out really, really crazy mad. I've had it where I've had the fish over there, right in front of me, on that little bit of island there. And I ended up cutting the line. I think after about 25 minutes, it was just stuck there. And it stayed at, I think it was like, I don't know, 18, 19 foot. It stayed like that. And I just, it just wouldn't reel in. Well, that was a small fish, but I ranked up though. Not that rank's really important to me, but I'm always up for more bait coins. <coughs> what is the fastest fish to get XP with with that map? I'm level 51 and I got uh, the Amazon pack and I'm trying to use it to hit level 70 while I have it. I'd, like the sharks, I'd probably say give the most XP, but the fastest way to get XP, I'd probably, not probably, definitely Arapaima. The Arapaima, you catch them, the pace of how fast you can catch them is absolutely insane. Like you catch them so, so quick. It, it used to be like that with the sharks when the DLC first come out, but they give it a little nerf, and it does take a little bit longer to catch the sharks, but yeah, fastest is definitely the Arapaima. Go for Arapaima, man. That's the way to do it. You do have to be level 68 minimum to get into this place, but if you pay for the DLC... You can get into this lake no matter what level you are. If you're buying the DLC, it le the level doesn't matter. You could be level 1 and you can still come into this place. I don't really think it makes any difference between the waggler and the float to be honest. I think the only thing with the with the waggler is sometimes you can get lucky and it doesn't run off. You can get lucky like that with the float, but your luck's a little bit more with the waggler for sure. Well, this one's running well. Again, I'm squeezing my controller. I don't know why. I don't need to squeeze my controller. Look at this reel as well. This reel, I got down to 71 durability. Rods are 83. For the rod and reel, I never used to do it. Anytime it used to get close to 70, I, well, 70, I always then back out and go repair it, but I don't do that anymore. I wait until the rod and reel are both in yellow, and they both get down to around 40%. I think the lowest I'd probably go is about 30 so I'm making more use of my wear rather than keep backing out all the time. When's the new shark uh, spot coming? Uh, for the sh the quickest way for me to catch sharks or the very best hot spot, I don't know what I'm going to title the video, but um, I, I need to do two more days of testing and then that video should be ready to go. But this was another place that I wanted to test today, real time, of how many fish I'm catching. And I'm trying, I've tried, I think four, yeah, four, no, five different spots for sharks. And I've written down how many I've caught in one day and what the biggest I've caught in that day is. And I've tried all different methods, different spinning rods, float rods bottom rods seems like the float rod is the winner 
for shock, definitely. Um, but yeah, I had to do a test on this spot today to see see what happens at this spot. And then I'll then I'll have to finish off my video and then edit. So yeah, probably two days. I'd I'd, I'd say two days. Cool. Wow, this one's really going well. I know sometimes I don't put the like for different hotspots. Obviously, I show different hotspots, do missions as quick as I can. When I buy new DLCs, obviously, I always do the missions and show hotspots and stuff. But I've spent so much time. I don't know how much. I know it's probably too much to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how much time I have spent catching sharks, but I'd probably say it's got to be close to a month. I know it's at least three weeks I've done nothing but catch sharks all the time using different baits, different rods, different locations. And I had to do one last test on this place today. Well, this spot for me to then make a video showing the very best shark hot spot and quickest and fastest way to catch them as well and stuff. I put a lot of time into it. This is probably going to be one of one of the longest videos it's taken me to make because there's so many different spots to catch the same fish same for the arapaima as well like the arapaima there's so many different spots this place is it's a, it, it's kind of like blue crab in a way like blue crab island it's such a big place so many different places to fish and then I try somewhere else and I fish somewhere new. Um, and then I feel like that's the best spot. And then I fish somewhere else, try somewhere else again. And then that will feel like a, the best spot. It's really hard to try and judge one spot from the other without putting days and hours into it. Hello, B. She wants to go under the blanket. Go on Hundred and sixty-four. I honestly thought that was a shark, to be honest. Didn't think it was a cat. I'll try it have it in a little bit closer. So that way I can try and try and reel it in quicker. I am level forty eight now. That would take a long time to get the new map. Well, you could even buy the DLC, but if you don't want to spend money on it, then go into Michigan and fish up for for the catfish, blue cats, and also the sturgeon as well. The sturgeon is a really good way to, to get XP fast. Or you could even catch some pike in there as well. Some people say that pike's better to catch rather than the sturgeon and the the cats but me myself I'd probably go for sturgeon and cats just because I like I like catching them they, they, they give a good fight and you can stand off the platform as well just in front of the the yacht works quite well <clears throat> why don't you use your fireworks you can only use them at certain times you can't just use them when you want you used to be able to but yeah you can't use them whenever you want you gotta you gotta wait for an event for it. So I can try and put it at like 14 foot. See, loads of people always tell me that as well. To, to fish in the night time for the sharks. Which I have I have done a bit of fishing. I say a bit. It is literally a bit of night time, but I prefer to do it in the in the in the evening or afternoon just because you definitely catch more catfish at night. But then some people some other people that I fish with, they have caught some absolute monster sharks at night. I think it was like a cloudy night between eleven and about one at one AM. But yeah, 11, start from 11 p.m. on a cloudy night, fish till about 1. And uh, yeah, they've had some really big fish like that. 
me myself, my biggest has always been from like 8 p.m. sunny and cloudy day, 8 till about 9. It's strange how it works like that. <clears throat> and I get a bit impatient as well. I don't like waiting too long. Just because it's time and money. So we jump to the next next day. I sh should have really checked my my gear. I should have checked my um. Should have checked my net and stuff. Let me quickly do that. I'm on day 17. The jacket's nearly halfway. We're alright. We're good for a little bit. Now after I catch one more fish with this though, I think I'm going to definitely change that line. Oh yeah, some interest. The, the movement of the water looks so good on PC. It really does compared to the console. It's unbelievable. I love that movement on top of the water. Oh, you have a bell on top of it as well. I always put a bell on top myself. I say that, but I haven't on this rod. Can you actually put a bell on top of this float rod? I don't even know. I'm going to check that out. Normally I do. I always have bells on the bottom rods, even if I'm using them on the bite alarm. Just because if I ever stand on a boat and use it. Like I've got the vibration on the controller so it'll vibrate. But having the bell does help a little. Finally caught you live. <laughs> How's it going Doug? Good to see you man. Yeah I don't live stream every day anymore. I always drop a video every day. But the streams are a little bit random. I, I, I definitely need to fix up... Uh, a certain time for streaming and stuff. I spent so many months streaming daily and then started doing videos and the videos just were just much better. Sometimes people don't like to watch something for, for one hour just to see what they want to see. Some people rather watch a eight minute video of showing how to, how and where and what to do. <clears throat> and leader length as well. I mentioned it in the video that I did yesterday. But the, the length of the leader as well. I've tried different lengths of leaders. I've tried the smaller one and I've tried the longer one. And I don't see any difference in, in the leader either. I can't even... I can't, I can't, literally cannot even guess how many hours I've put into sh different things, trying different stuff. <clears throat> There's definitely weeks, but I don't know. I don't know how many hours. And a serious amount. But that's what makes some of the videos really good because I put a lot of time into testing and I finally drop a certain video on how to catch something and then you try it yourself. You can always do it really insanely fast and, and it's good because I've spent many, many hours finding it. It's nice that I can share. It is nice. And it's kind of frustrating as well. When I very first played Fishing Planet for the first time, it was um, that was quite hard work to be honest, because I didn't I didn't realise that there was hot spots. I didn't I didn't really know what to do or where to fish or anything. But as time went on and I gave it another shot, now it's a lot more fun. You think you've watched all my Fishing Planet videos? <laughs> well, there's a lot. There's definitely a lot. I think there's just fishing itself. Um, I think there's got to be close to about 300 Fishing Planet videos that I've done. 
that's just fishing. So that's a lot, man. So if you've watched all of them, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Nice live stream. Thank you very much. Cool, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of videos. Because th there were so many comments as well, keep saying about the uh, making a playlist because to find certain missions on, on, the, on fishing, it just makes it easier, which it probably would because to look through every video that I've got is a little bit bizarre. But then looking through just the planet uh, fishing planet playlist itself 300 videos that's crazy you gotta look through 300 videos just to try and find the one that you want maybe you could type it in though into the playlist and maybe you might find it faster i don't know if you can do that i've never tried possibly you could If I wasn't retired on a fixed income, I would do I would donate. You don't have to donate, man. It's it's com that's completely optional. It's not required in any way. Just you being here, hitting that like button because it's completely free, and you being here watching, if it's making your your game experience of fishing better. And then I've succeeded in what I wanted to do. You, no one never has to donate anything. It, it's completely it's not something that's required at all, man. If I'm making your game experience better and you're hitting that like button, then I appreciate that. That's that's enough. That's all that anyone has to do. It's, uh, if it makes their game experience better, well, then that makes me good. Because I, it is frustrating. I have spent plenty, plenty of days in real time fishing in new spots and wasted two or three real days in real time. I don't know, like ten hours each day, me wasting trying to catch a fish. And within that day, I catch nothing. I try different baits and all different stuff and. It is really, it does kind of wear you out a little bit and it does make you a little frustrated and it's a little bit annoying when you're trying to find a certain spot to catch a certain fish and you just can't get it and then if I've made that video and you watch it and then you copy what I do and do the same thing and you catch it fast, that's what makes it enjoyable. Like you want to play a game and... You don't want to just... Like, obviously, in real life, yeah, fishing is a game of patience. It's a relaxation, patience, patience, and just patience. <laughs> it's more... Uh, like, if I was fishing in real life, I wouldn't look at it as I want to catch fish at a fast pace. Obviously, this is gaming, so it's completely different. But in real life, I would happily just sit there for hours in the sun... Just looking at the tip of the rod. <clears throat> it is definitely a game of patience. Yeah, I definitely want to try that. Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Because I did play um, Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And that was really good. I actually did quite like that. I don't know. They did say there was going to be a release date on that coming soon. I don't know if they've put a release date on it yet, but it did say that it was coming soon for a long time, wasn't it? Like, just to mention, so you guys know as well, as well as me always buying new DLCs and showing new updates, tips and tricks and whatever on Fishing Planet, I'm always going to play Fishing Planet. Obviously, I play other games and I try out other games and play different fishing games, do all random stuff, but this is going to be a game that I think I play forever, to be honest. I've played it for five years so far. And I definitely ain't bored of it or getting close to even being bored of it. Even though I've done the same thing for about the last three weeks. Catching the same fish and... <laughs> yeah, I'm still having good fun with it though. I have used the duo swim bait, yeah. Very unsuccessful, really. 
I'm not sure if I'm using it right. Wow. Um, to go in a little bit more depth about the swim bait, I did make a video on it. That could be easier for you to watch it, but um, just at the top of my head is what I always do with the swim, the duo swim bait. I always use stop and go. So I reel, stop, reel, stop. That's how I do it. Obviously, depending on how you're reeling, whether you're using top water, whether you're trying to get it to the top of the water faster, or twitching, or yeah, it depends on what you, you're doing, and obviously where you're casting, where you're fishing. <clears throat> Planned release date is the May the 10th. Oh, is it? They've actually... They actually got a release date for it now. Let me check that out. I haven't actually looked on there for a short minute. Oh yeah, somebody wanted to see my Steam name as well. Yeah, it's YT Bubbles Way. Uh, let me have a look. I want to see that. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. To play that. I'm interested to see how it's going to be as well. Because... Um, The uh, the first one, apparently the second one is made by someone different, a different different company I heard or something. I don't know if it's going to be by the same one. Uh, no, it's not the same one. Sorry, should I say? Different people um, are doing it. New game tales. What's that? Oh, I think they're adding something new to... Oh no, maybe maybe not. That was posted on 2020. So, just give me one sec. We haven't got any interest on the rod just yet, so we're all good for a second. That's why I quickly have a look at something. It says free demo. Do you reckon I could actually try that now? Do you reckon it would let me? Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 free demo. No, it won't let me play it now. <clears throat> That's a shame. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. Just to quickly try it. But yeah, you're right, actually. 10th of May. Uh, release date. And that's for the, the demo as well as the... As well as the actual game. Does it say how much it's going to be? But It doesn't even say a price, does it? No. Yeah, there's no price. I have no clue how much that's going to be, but I'm going to keep an eye on that, though, for sure. I definitely... Um, I'll be interested to... Uh, to play a bit of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 as well. It's been a short minute since I've played that as well. You're on the fisherman's fishing planet. What's best XP and money farm? Um, well, for in this place, I'd probably say sharks. Like, well, I don't know. Like, you get, I, I don't know. It's it's really hard to say that. But like, no, it's Arapaima because see, like the sharks give more XP, but. Even though the sharks give more XP and more cash, you can catch the Arapaima quicker. So, yeah, Arapaima is is the way to go for this lake. If you're if you're looking for XP quick and cash quick, definitely Arapaima. Hmm. 
why you don't play fishing sim world pro tour or the catch i played the catch before i've done a few streams on the catch and um made a couple of videos on the catch before i haven't tried fishing sim world though i have thought about it a few times but maybe i might do in the future possibly Fishermen don't have maroon or Brazil. Yeah, they are they are quite far behind on the updates for the, the fishermen. That's why I don't play it, to be honest. Like a lot of people said it's really good because you can get bait coins insanely fast and you're absolutely flooded with bait coins. I also heard that somebody actually said that you can even put a rod on the like on a rod stand for the boat, so you can actually put your rod on the boat and keep one rod in your hand but that's really cool i like the idea of that but because the updates are so far behind that's why i haven't really bothered to buy it to be honest but it's just not yeah the updates are a little bit slow on that which in a way it does suck for some people that have paid for it but I can understand why Fishing Planet is the one that gets the updates first. One, because it's been there before anything else. And it's it's free as well. So, you know, some people, some people don't have money to buy games. And if there's a free fishing game that you can play, and the updates on there are quite often, or the updates on there are more than anywhere else, like on the other fishing one, then it makes it cool. And I did hear as well that the Blue Crab Island, um, for you to have that on the Fisherman Fishing Planet, you have to actually pay for it. Like, it doesn't matter even if you can become a certain level, you have to pay for Blue Crab Island if you want Blue Crab Island. Which, that's that does suck a little bit. I wonder how much a unique bull shark would be like. <laughs> I reckon in their next update... I have no idea where they're going to base it at or anything. But I'm guessing they are going to do it as Unique Bull Shark because they went from uh, Maku Maku. They went from there, from the Arapaima, um, not as unique. And then to this place, the Arapaima being unique. So I'm guessing, could be wrong, but I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure in the next update they do... It will be unique bull shark for sure. And yeah, that will be... Well, the trophy in here go up to 440. So, as unique, I'm pretty sure it's going to be close to like about 500 pounds. That would be quite insane to to catch that. And that will be, be good fun though. But it be quite insane. <clears throat> well, we're really having a bad day, aren't we? Well, there you go. I had a bit of interest there. Not taking it, though, by the looks of it. Uh, it does have Blue Crab Island. You quit fishing planet when you keep net broke. <laughs> oh, man. I've had that happen more than once. I did it once, actually, in a live stream as well. I um, fished 100 days in Blue Crab Island. I just wanted to see what it what would happen. And look at that. That's pretty good. 23,000 cash. And it's only a standard shark. It's not even trophy. 23,000. That's some, that's some good money. Yeah, I... Um, so I did 30 days fishing. Here's the location I'm fishing at. I did 30 days, uh, 30 days, 100 days of fishing in Blue Crab Island. I don't know why I even, what even made, why I even thought of that. Like, I don't even know. But I know, obviously, if you're fishing in a new lake, after three or five days, it gives you a few markers. And then if you fish 30 days in every lake, and you should always do this if you can. Fish 30 days and it'll always give you a free gift in every lake. 
if you fish 30 days. But it's only the one time. So if you fish 30 days in this place and then you fish another 30 days in this place, you won't get the prize the second time. You only get it the once. But I thought to myself, what if I fish 50 days, see what it gives me? It didn't give anything. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to push it to 100 days and see if it gives me some kind of new achievement or... I don't even know what was going through my mind when I did that, but... <clears throat> yeah. My net did break. And it was, the, it was at that time, it was actually the best net on the game. So, that was very expensive. Yeah, it was an expensive video, that one. But it was still good to test it, just to see if anything would happen. You don't know unless you try. But yeah, don't fish 100 days. The only thing it does is just break all your gear and you get nothing from it. Definitely not. I would have thought it would have given me something, though. Well, that, that last one weren't bad either. £223. Now we're using the float rod. We're getting close to the 8.30 mark, which is the time that I've caught some big monsters. As I mentioned earlier, between 8.30 and 8.45. That's when I've had some big fish, and it's always been on the float rod as well. Well, the biggest, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, level 20. And you've been dealing with the same fish for 30 minutes. Yeah. It does suck, man. It's just because your, your gear is not strong enough, you are a low level. The only thing I can always recommend being a low level is always try and buy the best stuff that you can buy for your level like it doesn't matter if you're level 10 level 20 30 40 it doesn't matter what level you are always try and buy the best rod and reel that you can buy for your level and um try not to go for fish that are too big as well because if you're going for really big fish on light tackle it's really hard work it really is it's not, I guess it's not too bad if you're on a boat. If you're on a boat and you're using really light tackle, being a low level, it's okay being on a boat because you can reel it in a little quicker, but that was a quick take. Fish after fish. Yeah, being a low level, not having the best gear, the game's... Oh my way. Wow, that was some cost. When you're first starting the game, there's not much... It's not much fun, I'm going to be honest. And I've said it so many times. Like, I've created four accounts um, for Fishing Planet. And that's because my first Steam account, I forgot my password. Couldn't sign back into it. So I had to make a new... whole new Steam account. And then I started Fishing Planet all over again. Yeah, then I did it for the PS4. I forgot my sign-in details. I then had to make a new account again on, on PS4 as well. So I know the struggle of starting the game from the beginning. It's not fun, but stick with it. Have patience, and it does get better. Definitely, that, that when you're able to get into new lakes and better gear, it definitely does get better, but it's... Um, it is, it's a little bit of a hard work at the beginning. But just know, you're not the only one who struggled from the beginning. Everybody has. It takes time. I have a prob problem reeling in bigger fish like, for example, I can't reel in a unique tarpon on my 50 pound rod setup. Okay, well, if you can't reel it in, then... That could be because your reel is too weak. Could be that your rod's too weak. Could be that your leader is. Could be that your line is. So when you got the fish on, 
you've got those three bars there on the side as you can see um, whatever is up highest if your reels up higher maybe you might need a new reel so whatever one's up at its highest point buy something stronger and your line just broke try catching smaller fish that's the only thing I can try recommend or try buying be a better setup if you can buying a better rod I wish you can catch tarpon like you're doing sharks you can catch tarpon pretty fast in blue crab island you can and um, even like unfortunately like I absolutely love Florida Everglades for a low level lake I spent that's where I spent most of my time when I was low level in Florida that is absolutely amazing place and you can catch tarpon in there. Unfortunately, not as big as blue crab, but you can catch tarpon in there. Um, pretty decent size, and they give pretty good XP. And you can you can catch those on low level rods as well. Why can't I see a sip in the Xiaomi Flasher app, please? Uh, you have to download it. You can't. You probably won't find it in the app because I created um, a different software and uploaded it to Google Drive. So if you click the link in the description on that video, you'll see that I put um, I put an actual folder there, and you can download that folder for free. It doesn't cost anything. My application isn't in that actual app. Like it's in completely separate so download it it's free to download um, any advice for build up cash on fishing planet I have 110 keep net and literally no cash for cash you could use barbless hooks which give you more XP but as you want cash I'd probably say don't use a don't use a bait rod don't use a bottom rod. Don't use a float rod. If you if you need cash and cash is your biggest problem, for me, if I needed cash and nothing else, I would I would go to spinning. Especially like I always need cash anyway because obviously I'm always showing new updates, so I always have to have a lot of cash to show that new rod, show that new reel, and show new equipment. I've always got to have a lot of cash, but um, I'd probably say. Yeah, definitely use a spinning rod because a spinning rod you don't have to keep paying for bait. Whereas if bait rods you're spending, you're earning money, then spending money back on bait, you are still always going to cover yourself by doing that. Like me coming here, me repairing my rods and reel and buying more bait, I still can and am still able to earn a profit. But if you want to earn a big profit fast, use any type of lure, spinner stuff like that so that way you're not spending money on bait you're just spending money um, repairing your gear that's it so any type of lure jig heads and stuff as well you can use all of that kind of stuff that will also work let's mm. now let's try 10 I can't catch much more because my net's getting close to halfway. Let's see if we get any interest in the night. See what happens. Yes, I know. I just don't see the folder in the app. You won't see the. It, for you to see that folder in the app, you have to be in the app. And then wherever you download it to. So download it free from the link in the description. And then wherever you're downloading it to, when you go onto the app, go to that file where you downloaded it. So for example, if you download it in downloads or you download it in a, to something called um, a SAT file, go to a SAT file, open it, and you can, you can do it that way. So wherever you're downloading it to, remember the file that you're downloading what the name is where you're downloading it to it could be to downloads could to be 
to C port, C drive. Look where you download it to first. And then when you go onto the app, go to the same location of where you click to download. They need to come out with boats with rod holders. Yeah, I've said that for a long time. That'd be really cool if they did that. Like, I would love to have one rod there like that. If you could even have two. So, one that the rod holds, um, the boat holds in a rod holder. One rod. I'd happily leave a bait rod like that. And I'd mess around with the float rod all day. If they did that, I probably would. Well, not probably. I would definitely spend more time on a boat than I would being on the side of a bank. That's 100%. Also as well as a rod holders like an old-fashioned like you see all these speed boats and stuff which they do look good and they are nice because you get places fast but I would also like an old an old looking tacky boat that looks like it's ready to sink like a proper I don't know like a sword fishing boat proper like that we got a bit of interest here. It hasn't taken it yet, though. But yeah, it'd be really cool to to have an old-looking, rough fishing boat, like the boats that you see in real life. You know, the boats that have all the nets hanging on them and little crab pots and stuff on them and all that kind of stuff. That looked really, really good. But your suggestions and stuff like that. You can always send it to Fishing Planet as well. There is a chance they could possibly use it. Now you can give your ideas and your thoughts across to them. They are pretty good at listening to the community. Obviously they can't listen to and pick everything that everyone says because there's loads of people that leave messages and comment every day to them. But yeah, you can definitely give your game ideas across to them. And sometimes they can end up actually using them. I need to reach level 54, and then I will. You'll be satisfied. <laughs> okay, so farm enough cash in Lone Star Lake. Where should I go? Emerald Lake. If you're able to get into Everglades, I'd definitely fish Everglades. If you are able to fish there, go there. If you're not able to fish Everglades, then Emerald or Thalcombe Lake, Rocky Lake. They're pretty cool cool ones as well. But I'd definitely choose the Everglades if you're high enough level to get in there. For sure, I'd definitely say go to Everglades. That's the, that's the place to be. And the good thing is, if you don't have a very good rod, uh, a very good setup, you can catch peacock bass all day long. Like, they're not very big fish, even as unique. They're not very big. But, um... You can fit a ton of them in your net, so even if you don't have a big net and you don't have a very good rod, fishing in that place, you can get an insane amount of of fish in your net in one day. You could earn some serious money from being a low level with low gear. I, I couldn't even guess. Actually, I'm going to guess. I think it was like from the time I was able to fish in that place, which it used to be level 14 or 16. I think they ended up taking it up. So now you've got to be level like 18, I think it is. But you used to get into that place when you was level 14 or 16. And I remember fishing from level, I'd say like 14 or 16, whatever it was. Up till I was able to get into Sand Delta. Which at the time I think was level 34, I think. So I spent a long time in Everglades. Obviously, I have fished other places, but that was one main place where I spent a lot, a lot of time. Catching the same fish over and over, but... Um, yeah, that, that did owe me some serious money, and that I, that was then able to... Me to get to Sand Delta, then buy be better gear as well. like Because I earned so much money from it, I could buy better rods, better nets, and a lot of other things keep getting interest on this it hasn't taken it yet 
Oh, no, no, no. Keep popping up adverts. There we go. Oh, we reeled that one in easier. That's what I mean by the waggler. The waggler is good. Compared to the float, I feel like you get more chance to reel it in that little bit quicker. Sometimes if you're lucky, you don't have to fight it. You can just re reel and picks it up like that. Doesn't always work like that, but you definitely get more chance to reel it in quicker like that compared to using a normal float. That's for sure. <clears throat> I think it's what I'm going to do. I might normally I stream for like three hours plus minimum three hours, but I'm going to cut it a little bit short here today. Just I need to go eat some dinner. I haven't even started cooking anything yet, so I'm going to need to go cook some food. But, um, yeah, sorry about the streams. They are a bit random still at the moment. But um, there is videos every single day. And if you leave any type of comment on there, I can always try and reply back to you guys as quick as I can. Don't get angry if I don't reply to everyone. Obviously, I have an insane amount of videos across the channel. And... Um, it, sometimes it does take me a short minute to reply to everyone but i do try my best I hope you guys did enjoy this one if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed fishing planet today don't forget to smack that like button as well if you are able to share my content please do it will help me grow as a content creator and um, i appreciate everyone who does drop by and watch my other videos also i do a lot of random things sometimes but i hope you guys did enjoy this one we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i am out And best hook size for tarpon, I normally use a hash six slash zero. Sorry, man. I hope you're still in chat and you, yeah. <laughs>